What's up YouTube, Fuzzfinger here, and welcome back once again to the Zodiac Age. So, on Friday evening, so Saturday evening, it's Monday today, uh, we did our second live stream where we completed some more bestry entries as we worked towards the Scrivener Trophy. And I know not everybody gets to watch those live streams, and even when we finish them, you're only left with like an hour and a half or so of video to go through, which isn't always practical for people. So what I'm going to be doing in this episode is editing a lot of the footage that we took in that video, so in that live stream, into a more concise form so that you can find some of the rare mobs that are going to be needed for the best list in order to continue working towards that trophy. So because this was a live stream, there will have been some conversations taking place there that are going to end up in this video that are going to lack the context that they were originally given into. They might not make much sense to you. But hopefully you can put up with that and this video is going to be a help for you in tracking down more of those rare mobs. Uh, sadly this is a very long winded trophy to attain and probably the hardest at least in terms of the time that's going to be consumed in the entire game. But it is worth it especially if you want to get that platinum of course. So hopefully this video is going to be helpful to you guys and please enjoy. Alright then folks, so the first two enemies that we went for on the live stream were the Barmu enemy and the Cult Sworn Lich, both of which can be found in the Tomb of Wraithwall. Now for the Barmu enemy, you need to build up a chain of 12, which you're going to see in a moment. So one thing I recommend doing is actually disabling all your gambits because there's a couple of enemy varieties in the area where you need to be to spawn the rare and you're going to end up breaking your chain if you're not careful. I also recommend, which is something I learned the hard way, so this took a lot longer than it needed to, to remove any gear such as Genji equipment that's going to cause your characters, even with their gambits off, to counter enemy attacks because that could break your chain too. So I recommend using the bats on this first enemy to build up a chain of 12 and that will then spawn the rare enemy. And once we've taken care of that, we're going to take on the Cult Sworn Lich. And that's an interesting one as well. But I'll, you know, wait until we get there and you can see how we spawn that guy as well. But you will need the Site 11 key, I think it's called. I have got a guide up somewhere in the playlist that shows you how to get that. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head what it's called or anything, though. Hello, Arbushi. No, we're not doing story stuff. I'm still trying to complete these trophies. So in terms of story, we're pretty much done with this game. I've just got literally the last dungeon to get through. But I thought it'd be cool if we get the other trophies done first. So when we get the trophy for completing the story, that'll give us the platinum. That's the plan right now anyway. <laughs> Hello, Joy. How are you? Oh, lag then. Didn't like that. Did anybody else see that lag or was that just on my side? Yes, thanks for joining us, Joy. We're just uh, continuing on with our bestry requirements from last night. And we're trying to get a chain of 12 bats going on here. Which isn't working out as easily as I expected. Because we keep killing them, the other enemies, and breaking the chain. But I think we've got it going now. Right, do not hit a tallow, but we will kill these seekers. So, chain of eight. Oh, CJ, please. I just about managed to wipe the great crystal for my uh, for my memory, and they've just gone and put it back in there. Yes, uh, Yakusoku, the rare game spawns are the final enemies I need for the bestiary. And I haven't completed the story, but the enemies in the final dungeon are not needed for the trophy. So it's literally just these rare monsters that we're after now. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. You need to steal several times throughout the fight in both battles to get the full set of Genji gear. Every time the boss switches his swords or something, 
it goes into a new phase. And that's the point where you want to uh, steal again. But you need to do it in both fights to get the full set. Right, so that's a nice chain of 12 there. Let's just slow things down a touch. Ha 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 ha, there it is. There's the rare spawn. Barmu. Let's have a showdown. Barmu versus Balthea. I think Balthea wins that. Okay, so we can do it on the same lich. Well, that sounds helpful. I'll hope that my plan is going to work with sight unseeing. It's a useful ability for getting enemies, lower level enemies, into HP critical status. But without actually getting them to die. Just run around. See if any liches spawn around here. Right, let's just run around, shall we? It doesn't matter if I aggro with the mobs. <laughs> so that should be a lich. Yep. Yeah. Where's this rago? Can we kill it? So it's not going to interfere. No, apparently we can't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is equip Balthea. Uh, not with a ribbon, that's obviously going to be counterproductive. This is literally my idea off the top of my head, so it may not work. A Neho Palaya. And we're going to throw an eye drops. If I can find them. Onto Belf. That should put him into blind mode. Okay. And now we're going to hit him with sight and seeing, and I'm hoping this is going to work. Yes, it does. It works. Brilliant. So now he's in HP critical status. What? Where's he gone? Did he divide into areas that I didn't see? Okay, so he has divided, but I'm not seeing the uh, enemy yet. Oh, hang on. There's another one here. Is that another one? Or is that the one that's, that's just been divided? I'm really confused now. Uh, I can't cure him though, can I? Because he will actually die if I cure him. So are you saying I can just wait around for him to regen health? Oh, there it is, look. The Cold Swan Lich. We found it. That is the rare enemy. Brilliant. So I can go ahead now and just put the ribbon back on. So we can cure the blind from out there. Putting the ribbon on won't cure the blind, but we'll be able to cure it with another eye drops. There you go. We won't be able to test the whole can we fix it by uh, curing him or waiting for him to cure or whatever. There we go. He's down. Yes, thank you, uh, Yakusoku. It's a bit annoying, actually. There's some delay on the uh, chat, which is annoying. Okay, folks. So the next rare fiend that we went for in terms of our best refilling on the live stream was the Wary Wolf, located in the summit path of the Moss Foran High Waste. And there's a 7% chance of getting that creature to spawn instead of the standard wolves in the area. So I'll take you back to the live stream and hopefully this will help you out. So something paths down below. That's okay, then you don't need to do anything to access this area. Uh, we still got Berserk going, yeah. Oh, is there? Oh, I did not know that. Renton. Right, so this is the summit path. 
Let's get rid of this stupid berserk first of all. If Ash would be ever so kind as to dispel. Remember, if it's berserk you're getting rid of, a sooner will not do it. Okay, and basically any one of these wargun could spawn as the boss or as the rare game that we're going for, which is the wary wolf. So it's none of these. So I'm not sure how many at oh, level high. I'm not sure exactly how many spawn, but here's some more. Ah ha ha ha, that looks like it could be promising. Yeah, it is. There's your wary wolf. Now he's just a dead wolf. Which is good, because that's another one to tick off our best three. Alright then guys, well that's another three rare mobs to tick off the list. So we're building up our best three nicely. And I do hope this video, this edited video, has helped you out if you're looking to uh, collect those rare mobs. And let me know if you manage to get the Scrivener Trophy at any point. I've still got quite a bit of a ways to go, but we're getting there, we're getting there. So thanks for stopping by for today's episode, guys. And I look forward to coming back to see you with more Final Fantasy XII content. Take care, goodbye.